to show you uh, the most truly way how the steering, 2D steering is working or rather would I say not working I would uh, show you on an example of uh, three power glider producers we have fusion of Palomania nucleon of Dudek and Mac Colorado from Mac Paragliding all those uh, three examples show and they work by changing the attack angle of the canopy as you can see uh, in all those three examples uh, you can shift uh, the angle of attack by trims by trimmers on the example of fusion we pull down the trims to a position of takeoff or even into the position of a stall the position of the trim speed to the position fast the profile is changed upside down so the glider is sucked it doesn't go up so much and if it has a reflex profile it starts to work we can see that on all of the three example canopies uh, why does this thing is needed mostly it is needed to get speed the conditions of competition and the demanding of clients is that the paraglider is too slow I don't open a discussion is that correct or not uh, my opinion is on many other films about speed and paragliding but I'd like to show you what are the consequences of the 2D and the trim system when the glider is in neutral trim position we can uh, use the steering with no problem we pull down the steering to this position or even deeper still the canopy is working perfectly and there's no problem with the airfoil in the position when we get the trimmers loose to gain speed the trimming edge of the glider goes up very high and pulls our steering system the steering line is pulled so hard and is so tended let's see the Colorado example in the trim full trim position the profile is upside down we have a certain sort of a reflex profile but the consequences of those trimming of this trimming is that the trailing edge is very high from this position to that position and the steering that was normally working is absolutely maximal tended we cannot use it if we pull the steering in this position down the canopy that has the trims loose would be misshaped so much that pulling the steering will cause a stall and collapse of the glider in most of the instructions it is said that the steering can be used only to a certain amount of trims up in full trims up we cannot use the steering what should we do then we cannot use the steering so the producers gave us 2D steering 
the 2D steering works this way that we don't steer with the steering we steer with an additional line that goes to the stabilo to the edge of the glider on both sides we cannot pull the steering why because the trims are working on this part here so on this part here we cannot use the steering in the full trim position if we pull the steering the glider would stall and collapse so we can only steer here on the very edges on the study low that's why we have an additional line that goes from the trailing edge of the Stabilo to the pilot. I myself, I think that the way that the lines are attached is not proper. Why? The producers, they are sure that if we leave the steering going through this little pulley through this little attachment and the stabilo steering we attach to the handle not to the pulley I am sure that it is not correct the producers say that it is possible to pull in such a way the training age of stabilo that you don't pull the steering on the main trailing edge but if you look cor uh, exactly precisely on those pictures there is something incorrect picture one just a simple steering with no trims out we copy this position to a new pictures just beside we'll give a picture of steering 2D that means a way of pulling without pulling the main trailing edge just pulling the stabilo picture 1 simple turn with steering picture 5 steering with trims out only with stabilo if you look at these pictures which are in the manual given to every client you look precisely at those pictures there should be a difference in pulling the lines between simple turn and uh, stabilo turn if you look exactly precisely you can even take a ruler and measure the distance this little this line from the pulley to the hand is almost the same as on the other picture let's copy uh, this part of the picture with our pilot pulling the stabilo only the stabilo and let's glue it just beside the normal steering you can see that the distance between the pulley and the hand is almost the same how is it possible then if the distances are the same that in picture one the steering is pulling the main trailing edge and in picture five the steering is not pulling the main trailing edge in number five it pulls only the stabilo in my opinion it's not true is not correct I am sure that it is impossible to move any movement with your hand either lower or sideways or even up you cannot do any movement without pulling the main trailing edge there is no possibility to make such a movement take the ruler and measure the lines you have a feeling that the lines are made of rubber 
if we want the system to work, we have to change. That means the stabular lines go through the pulley to the handle. And the trailing edge, the steering line, goes straight to the handle without the pulley. In this situation, there is a possibility to pull the stabilo without pulling the trailing edge. But you will never find this sort of lining in any paraglider. Many of my uh, viewers, they comment, it's not true what I'm talking about. They say it works. My opinion why it works? Well, the answer is quite simple. There is a big difference in how wide the canopy is. In the middle, where the training edge, the canopy may have even two to two and a half meters long. In the middle of the canopy. The stabilo edge the profile is much shorter. It's between 80 and 70 centimeters long. So, if you want to pull the training edge in the middle of the glider, you have to pull at least 30, 40 centimeters of the steering. But, on the stabilo, which is very short, you can start working the stabilo pulling between 10 and 15 centimeters of pulling of the stabilo line. So even in this sort of lining, it might work if you do it very, very precisely. That means you might make work the stabilo first. If you don't pull deep enough, then the training edge of the string will not work. It will work if you pull much deeper, over 20-30 centimeters. That's why most of the pilots using this system, they're absolutely persuaded that the 2D system works. The trap is that, yes, it works in very small values, 10-15 centimeters. But during the flight, it's not, very, it's not possible to make such a precise movement. Your hand might go deeper down, or you might just want to make the turn much sharper, and you go 30, 40 centimeters. In this situation, the system will work this way that the glider will stall because in full trim you start pulling the main trailing edge of the steering. In my opinion, such a narrow possibility of working means that the 2D system is not working and should be banned. With full responsibility I can say that the 2D system really doesn't work. It's very dangerous. Producers have noticed it, so they start changing the system. They put the line steering the stabilo to another place with another pulley and it is not joined with the steering. It's called tip steering system and you have another pulley, another handle to steer it. The only thing is that if you want to use it you have to let go of the main steering. Flying without the steering in your hand is, as every experienced paraglider knows, it's very risky. Thank you very much.